welcome back to Savvy Charmed Life. And as you can see today, I'm going to be showing you my new setup in the second half of 2020 Stology, which is Hufflepuff themed. So as you can see, I am switching sizes for the second half of 2020. So this is the one that I've been using for the last, the first half of 2020. Um, and it is a B6 Stology. Um, and as you can see, it got quite chunky. You'll be seeing a flip through of this one very soon as well. Um, you can see how thick the spine got. So my previous setup was pretty basic, the first half of 2020, and it's very similar to what I did in 2019 when I first started using my Stologies. I basically would just have a month view like this. This is where I didn't use a kit. Here's an example of where I did use a kit, um, but I would just have a month view calendar, um, and then I would just have daily spreads. Um, I would do Saturday and Sunday on a full page, um, and I would just do dailies where I had my scheduled on the left-hand side and my to-do list on the right-hand side. And that's pretty much how I've stuck to it. But as you can see, there are a lot of days where, um, this is where I did a grocery list, so that's like a bad example. But there there were several days where I just ran out of space. Um, like here's a good example um, where I did have some lessons that I was doing. So I did have some some uh, scheduling things to put on here, but then my to-do list just kind of like overflowed and took over the whole page. Um, so what I found in the B6 size is that I've just been running out of space. So I'm going to be changing things up for our second half of 2020 Stology. So my plan for the second half of 2020 is that I am going to be using this beautiful A5 size. So as you can see, the difference in sizing. I will show you a measurement difference as well. So this one is usually about I think five by seven yeah um so this stology uh the b6 is usually is about five by seven a little bit over um five and seven and a quarter um and then the a5 is like almost eight and a half by six almost six um so it's decent size bigger as you can tell um and another difference let me see if I can find you a blank page or close to a blank page. I think I have blank pages still in the front. All right, so here's a blank page. Um, I don't know how well you can tell that, but the squares also, Stologies aren't dot grid, but they do have squares. Um, so let me try to get that closer, so hopefully you can see the difference in size. Um, but the squares are a little bit smaller in the A5 size, but that doesn't bother me really. Um, I have plans for this new Stology. Um, like I said, I am going to be changing up like my planning systems. I'm gonna do my monthly overview and kind of go back to the way I was doing it in 2019, where I have like a decorative page and then I have the numbers. For me, I like doing it down the center of the page for my month at a glance. Um, and then I'm gonna do some like monthly dashboard things as well. Um, and then I'm gonna do weekly spreads for my appointments. And then after each month, I'm just going to do a running to-do list. So I'm going to take up as much space as I want for a to-do list. It may be a quarter of a page, a half a page, a whole page, or I may run over into a second page and I can take up as much space as I want. Um, and then when I'm done with my to-do list, I'll, you know, set up the next month. Um, so that's the way we're going to be doing it the second half of 2020 and we'll see how it goes. But let's get into why you're actually here. Let's see what's inside of this Stology. So I've already set up all of the beginning pages, like the decorative and the collections. Um, and then in another video, I'll be showing you my first monthly setup plan with me. So first things first, it is this beautiful yellow A5 because I decided to go with a Hufflepuff theme and Hufflepuff's colors are this 
are a yet like a dark yellow and black and gray um so i wanted to go with the yellow and i think it's so pretty that you can get this yellow color in the a5 as with every video i do links to the products will be in the description box below um on the front of the stology i have some vinyl of my initials um tracy lee fitch um and then i also have this really cute hufflepuff um die cut sticker um, which I think is subtle enough but very very cute um, and you some of you saw a preview of this in another video but I got some Hufflepuff some of these are Hufflepuff specific washies and some of them aren't like I already have this like floral pink and yellow one that I just had to incorporate and, and I also had just have this basic green washi tape um, this one right here, um, is from Kina Prince, um, this like darker mustard yellow. Um, and then the foiled ones are from a different shop where I got like a sampler of it, um, on Etsy. Um, so I will share the shop where I got these samples from below. Um, but, uh, I just, I know a lot of people just, um, I know a lot of people like put the washi tape on like sticky back paper and then attach it to the inside of the Sology. Um, but I just take it and attach it straight to it. And then I either use a razor or my slice tool to just go down the middle and then the edges to like cut off the excess. Um, so that's how I attach my washi. Um, I can't remember what shop this is from, but like I said, all links in description box. Um, but this is just a, oh, Hufflepuff themed card um, attached with some washi tape. Um, I love it because it's like a travel, because it's like a Hufflepuff themed traveler's notebook. So very cute. This is just some Hufflepuff themed digital art that I found on Etsy that I printed onto some yellow vellum and attached with washi. Um, this is my This Journal Belongs To page. Um, and I went ahead and put 12, 30, 20, 20, but I just realized recently that I may not fill up like I may fill it up before the six month mark or I may still have space at the end of six months so if I end up deciding to continue it or shorten it I will change the date for that later with just like some white out um here is my index page um where I just made my index banner with some washi and I'm gonna list my index here um right now it just has like all the collections that I've made um this is a really cute badger digital print that I down you know got off Etsy and just printed to some vellum um it got a little it printed a little messily um but I think it gives it character so I left it alone and I I've been attaching my vellum just by putting a strip of um double-sided tape down the edge and then attaching it um on the inside of the fold of the book um, I saw somebody else using this in a Sology and I got really excited and decided to get one. So this is actually like the basic size, um, happy planner inserts and it actually has like the little attached to like the happy planner uh rings um but i just used double-sided tape and attached it in here and i like it because i can interchange the photographs um so this is a picture of me and my niece which i love this picture because we're both wearing yellow um this was after a ballet recital this is me and my husband outside of ollivanders at universal studios diagon alley um this is right after we had a couple's wand ceremony um, which I can tell you more about later, but it was really, really cool. Um, and then me and my husband, I mean, my husband and my dog, Kaylin at the park. This is my favorite park. This is Kaylin look under the tree, looking up at the lights. Um, and then me and Rapunzel <laughs> at Disney World. So I just added some pictures, but you know, I can easily remove these so I can interchange them and make, you know, change my mind about like which pictures I want to display. Um, and right now I'm not putting any on the back, but I could easily do it like double where I put some on the back. Um, so you can see other pictures on the back. Um, this is from Pottermore. I don't know if it's still available, um, but it was where you could download, you know, backgrounds for your phone. And this is the Hufflepuff common room. So I just printed it larger onto just some 
copy paper and attached it with washi tape. So I just, I really love this. I think it's beautiful. Um, I always thought that the common room for the Hufflepuff um, house always seemed like the most relaxing of all of the common rooms. I think I would love to curl up in the Hufflepuff common room with a book by the fire and a blanket and just get cozy. Like, I think that would be awesome. Um, so this is my year, like my future log. Um, so I just did July through December. Um, and I just made little like, you know, different size boxes for each month. Um, and then uh, I gave like November and December more because that's like the holiday months and usually have more like future events to log. And then I did a little Dutch door of, um, of the calendar, the rest of 2020 and then the first six months of 2021. And then you know, I attached, you know, put some of my washi tape. This came from that little sampler. Um, and then I can't remember which shop my, you know, year at a glance came from, but I will link it in the description box. And then for 2021, I just left the second half of the page. But yes, yeah, so I just, for any events that are gonna be coming up in 2021 that are necessary for me to document, I'm just gonna do it on the second half of that page. Um, I haven't written out my goals yet, but this is for goals. Um, so I'm gonna do a fitness goal, YouTube goal, a spiritual goal, family goal, blog goal, and work goal. And I'm just gonna write them on the uh, petals of the flower. Um, I decided to, I've always failed at year in pixels, but I've been trying to get better at it. Um, I didn't do this in my last installment of my astrology, so I just went back in and like, I kept track, um, just like in a separate journal, um, of how I was feeling. And then I just like tried to add it. It's not super pretty, but I've been trying to keep track. Um, so I didn't do it in January and February. I didn't start till March when all of the pandemic stuff started um but i'm hoping to be able to continue that and actually stick with it because i'm usually really bad about it um this is a printable that i attached um and then i have like these are nerdy paper co um stickers um and the washi tape and then i brought the flower that i did over here over onto this side of the page and these are my uh and these are my levels of mood. So best day ever, happy, loved, appreciated, calm, mellow, exhausted, tired, sick, frustrated, angry, anxious, stressed, determined, motivated, confident, excited, apprehensive, and sad, depressed. And as you can see, since, you know, during quarantine, there were a few days where I did feel sad or depressed. Um, I think a lot of us have been. And a lot of anxious and stress leading up to uh, when they canceled school. Um, and then that first like week after school got out, um, I was feeling a lot of anxiety. All right. So this is my books to read. Um, I got this in like a digital paper pack, um, that I'll link below. Um, and I love it, uh, because it's a little stack of books, um, and it has the quill and everything. Um, but I got this books to read printable, digital printable, um, where I can write the title, the author, the day I started it, the day I finished it, and then give my rating. Um, this is another digital um, printable that I got from Etsy and then printed it onto some vellum. I actually first um, printed onto the vellum um, this like uh, parchment kind of like paper pattern and then printed the quote on top of that. So words are not, words are in, in my not so humble opinion, our most inexhaustible source of magic, capable of both inflicting injury and remedying it. And that is Dumbledore. Um, so I did two pages for books because I, my goal is to read a lot more um, this year. I've kind of gotten out of the habit of reading and the only time I do read is when I listen to audiobooks. but I've really gotten into podcasts this past year. So a lot of what I've been doing has just been podcast related, um, but I really want to start reading again because I love to read. Um, so I'm doing a movie tracker. I'm hoping this is enough. Um, and then I also have a to watch and shows to binge. Um, so I may also do shows on this page. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm thinking maybe movies here and then shows here. Um, but when I want to watch something or somebody's telling me to watch something, I'll write it here. And then I'll, once I finish watching it, 
I'll fill it in here and give my rating for it. At least that's the plan right now. And then I've just decorated it with some more washi. Um, this is my page about who I'm currently following. Um, the clock came from that same digital paper pack, Harry Potter themed paper pack. Um, and then uh, this is from a stencil that I have. Um, so I'm going to keep track of who I'm following on YouTube, Instagram, podcasts, and Facebook groups that I'm in this year. This is where I did my playlist page. Um, so what I did was I created my little playlist and this is, I think this is Nerdy Paper Co. Um, but it's just a little badger die cut that I attached right here. Um, and I'm gonna write my favorite songs, I think, of the year here as I determine what they are. Um, but then I also have like a bunch of playlists right now. So I took screenshots on Spotify of my current playlist and then printed them using my um, HP Sprocket um, and then attached them here. So I have like a songs that make me happy, which is mostly like girl power pop songs, um, guilty pleasure, but I, uh, anytime I need to be, to, anytime I need a pick me up, uh, a fun pop girl power song is always the best remedy. I also have a show tunes, like show songs playlist, um, that has like all of my favorite musicals. Um, you got Hamilton and Hairspray and Phantom of the Opera and Les Mis and, um, lots of other shows newsies all sorts of things are in there um 90s christian um <laughs> because uh i was a teen of the 90s and was raised very conservative christian and i still feel like that the 90s for christian music was like the best time for christian music like it was the uh the golden age of Christian music, especially Christian rock music. So, uh, even though I'm still on my spiritual journey, I still love listening to my nineties Christian rock music, um, alternative music. And then I have my nineties mix because like I said, I was a teen of the nineties. I graduated in 1999. Um, so my favorite nineties music is the like alternative music. I like a little bit of the grunge from the early nineties, but my favorite is all of the alternative music from like the mid nineties, like the folky kind of alternative rock stuff. Um, so, you know, I've got um, Frente in here and Lisa Loeb and Gin Blossoms and Cranberries and R.E.M. and all of those bands. Cannon Crows are all in my 90s mix. Um, and then uh, I also, another guilty pleasure, have a Disney Channel original <laughs> mix as well. Um, because even though I am almost 40, I love watching Disney Channel original movies um, and I feel like they just keep getting better. Like I loved watching them when I was a teenager when they first started in the early in the late 90s um, and continued watching them in my 20s <laughs> in the 2000s um, and I still watch them even now so I've got like a mix you know I mean as you can see right here I've got Lemonade Mouse Zombies Camp Rock and Camp Rock 2 but all there's like a ton <laughs> of Disney Channel original songs in that playlist. So these are like my favorite playlists right now. Okay, so I did a social media tracker page. I've got a few side businesses. Um, I have a travel blog and travel YouTube channel. So these are like my current numbers and then I have my goals. This was a printable um, from a shop that allowed you to like edit so I could like type in what my goals for each of them were. And then this is what my current totals are for followers on each of those um, platforms. Um, and then this is going to be, I put November Lily Designs because that's the name of my Etsy shop. But this is also, this channel. It's also Savvy Charmed Life. I first started this channel and based it off of my travel um, blog's uh, name. So that's where Savvy Charmed Life came from. Um, I wanted something that had savvy in the name um, to kind of go with Savvy Journey. Um, but then I changed the name of my uh, Etsy shop um, which is a long story. Um, but so this little tracker will be for November Lily Designs and um, Savvy Charmed Life like combined um, because uh, the only thing that's named November Lily Designs is the Etsy shop. Like my Instagram account um, is uh, 
My Instagram account is Savvy Charmed Life. YouTube, YouTube channel is Savvy Charmed Life. But the Facebook group is November Lily Designs. So um, I'm going to keep track of my followers and how those things are going on, on these printables. Um, so my goal for the YouTube channel right now is to have 100 subscribers by the end of 2020. And I just want to say thank you for all of you who have already subscribed within the first two weeks that I've started this channel. I am so incredibly thankful and grateful for your support. Um, and I hope that more join as we move along and that you continue to like the content that I do here. Um, this is just another digital print um, that is Hufflepuff themed, um, Hufflepuff Unafraid of Toil. Um, and I just printed it and attached it on this page. This is from that digital Harry Potter paper pack of the Marauders map. And I just like kind of cut it out so that it was like, it looked like, you know, wrinkled parchment and attached it here. This is my exercise tracker, which was a printable that I got off, got off Etsy. Um, and I've already been trying. Um, I started this in May. I went ahead and started filling it in um, my exercise tracker. So obviously January through April is not going to be filled in, um, but I've been trying to stick to actually filling in my exercise tracker here. And then I'm going to do some recipe collections. I'm going to do main dishes, side dishes, breakfast, and desserts. Um, and these are just some printables that I found um, on Etsy um, where you can write the recipe, where you found it, like Pinterest or wherever, um, a certain website whether you liked it or not and then like any tweaks or notes that you have about it and then i found these uh in an etsy shop these little um harry potter themed like food labels so we have hippogriff tears giggle water um cornish pixie popping corn petrified puffer fish eyes and pumpkin juice. Um, so I just thought those were really fun and appropriate to put on my recipe pages. Okay, and this is one of my favorite pages and like spreads in the whole notebook so far. So this is really gonna be focused on Georgia exploration because if we do start traveling in 2020, it's gonna be minimal right? Um, we're not going to be doing like big trips probably. I think we want to start planning for like a big trip in 2022 um, because it will be the halfway mark between my husband's two years younger than me. So when he's 39 and I'm 41, like, like we're both like on the, you know, right there on the edge of 40. Um, we're going to plan like a big trip. Um, but for now, between now and then, we will be exploring our like we'll be trying to explore areas within our vicinity, like within Georgia. Um, so I did this Georgia exploration spread um, and I used all of these like Harry Potter themed, you know, travel related things. So this came from that Harry Potter digital pack. Um, and I just, oops, that one's peeling up. I need to retape that. Um, I just cut out the sign um, and attached it there. Um, I found this, I thought it, would kind of fit, but I found this like wooden plaque um, and just took a screenshot of it and printed it, of jo a map of Georgia. Um, and then this Hogwarts was in that same paper pack. Um, and so I just printed it and then like cut it out and attached it and made a little Dutch door. Um, and then I have the Hogwarts Express sign here and then a night bus ticket. So like all travel related things, but I'm just gonna write out my, um, ideas for places I want to visit in Georgia or ideas that I have um and then also maybe some journaling of the places that we do go maybe photographs um and then this is where I'm going to do my memory spread so I've only set up one page so far but I've given myself two extra or four extra pages for it so I've just I just outlined like the size of my Fuji Instax photographs um and uh, made little rectangles and then stuck the washi tape on them so that I can attach the Fuji insects like my little like like the little mini Polaroid type of pictures um, here as I make memories in 2020 and then I went ahead and left myself like I said four extra pages for that 
Um, I also have sciatica and have a lot of lower back issues. Um, so I've been trying to, I decided it might be a good idea to track my pain. Um, so the quarantine has not been good for my back. I'm not nearly as active as I was um, when I was working um, outside of the home. Um, so the pain has been, you know, coming and going. I haven't had any pain-free days. At the very least, I've had some mild pain like in the morning or at night where I, if I stretch and ice, it'll fix it. But the last week or so, I've had some pretty intense pain, so I've been trying to keep that under control. Um, but I just decided that it would be a good idea to monitor that. So I have pain-free, mild, stretching fixes it, moderate, all-day strain, intense, moderate, intense, all-day, severe, debilitating, and then black is going to be kill me now. And then I decided to do a wish list page. So these are just some like different size frames. I have a... Um, stencil pack that I use that I use these to make these frames out of um, and I'm just gonna write things that I want and I saw this really cute idea from somebody else where they said that they're gonna put things that they want here and then they're gonna let you know time go by and if they look back like after six months and realize look I've lived without this thing for six months do I really want it do I really need it um, so I thought that was a good idea and that is the end of all of my spreads and collections. I'm going to give myself an extra like few pages for collections that I may decide to do um, later um, in the year. Um, and then I'll start my uh, July setup here. So I will say that one thing that I just realized is that Harry Potter is turning 40 years old in July um, because he is six months older than me because I was born in January of 81. So I technically would have been Jenny's year at Hogwarts. Um, but yeah, so I turned 40 in January and he turns 40 next month. And I just realized that and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so old. Um, but so I'm definitely want to do like, and, and just because this is a Hufflepuff themed notebook, I want to do the whole month of July uh, Harry Harry Potter themed. Um, so I'm going to be doing Harry Potter themes for the whole month of July. Um, I will probably for the first week of September do a Harry Potter theme too, but I'm not necessarily going to do Harry Potter spreads through the whole notebook um, because I have so many fun stickers that I want to use. So I'm going to do lots of different themes, but the whole month of July is going to be Harry Potter themed. Okay, so I'm so glad that you finally got to see this wonderful notebook. I'm like so excited. I'm so proud of the spreads that I already have and the collections that I've made and how I've direct, um, decorated it. I'm so excited to continue building this notebook and start chunking it up. Um, we'll see if it um, matches this one at the end of the year. Um, and I'm curious to see whether or not I fill it up before 2020 is over or if I have extra pages at the end of 2020. I'm curious to see how this new experiment goes. So thank you for watching. Please remember that if you loved this content, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. I would love to welcome you to this Savvy Charmed Life family. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.